Happy Memorial Day weekend, everybody. Um, I'm going to work today with a new tool that uh, I just built. And uh, I'm going to see how it works. But uh, we're going to start out today. I'm going to try to make just a hollow form from this piece of camphor that, <laughs> that my buddy down in Tampa, John Williams, uh, brought to me uh, on his visit up here. So this stuff is uh, really strong. It's uh, like uh, uh, mentholatum or something like that. That's the smell it has. It's, uh, it's camphor. And uh, from what I understand, it is a, it's an invasive species uh, in Florida. And I think they have a lot of it. This wood has just tons of different colors from reds all the way down to blonde. Uh, really, really pretty stuff. And I've turned it before. And uh, I think it's going to make a really nice looking hollow form if I, can, uh, if I can do this right. But this whole thing is going to be an experiment. I'm just going to try to see uh, how it's going to turn out and, uh, and how this new tool works. Uh, this piece is, it is about six inches tall, so I really don't need this bar that I'm going to be using to do it, but I want to try out that bar just to see how it works, and uh, it's about 10 inches in diameter. about ten and a quarter inch diameter so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to turn a round hollow form and uh, and get it hollowed out uh, nice and even and thin on the inside and you know you may see an epic fail this thing may uh, uh, may come apart because I exceeded the interior diameter with the exterior diameter so but what I'm what I'm here to show you is uh, I built me a new a new hollowing tool. It's a it's a bar. It's a one inch uh, steel bar, and I put uh, it's a half inch hole right in the middle here with a quarter twenty cent screw. Uh, really heavy, and uh, and I made these cutter tips for it. Here, one's curved and one's straight. And the, the little heads are uh, interchangeable. But also, when I was at the uh, wood turning symposium in Cartersville uh, last weekend, uh, I picked this up from Ron Brown, and that's uh, ronbrown.com is is the man who sells these. It's the little laser guide that will fit on this bar, and uh, this was the main reason. I've never built my bar. I actually bought the steel for it over a year ago. and uh, But it's got a little laser pointer there uh, to help me with my tool positioning inside the hollow form. So this is a, a 10 by 6 blank. I'm going to try to turn it round and then I'm going to try to use this to see if I can get it really thin on the inside. Normally I use my calipers here. And these work great. The way these work is uh, as as this as this edge rides along the inside of a bowl, that measurement is transferred down here. So you can see if if you're uh, if you've got ridges or anything in there. It's almost like using your fingers to go in there. This is very good, but it won't get into this all the way because uh, this is going to be a hollow form. It's going to be a smaller hole on the top than it is uh, around the sides. And this thing can't get around those corners with any kind of accuracy. But I'm going to try that, and I'm going to mount this on there. And uh, I don't know. I may not even get this video uploaded. It just depends on how it goes. Uh, uh, it'll be my first try with, uh, with a laser guide. But I'm going to give it a try. But Ron sells those a lot cheaper than I thought you would ever find them. And, uh, and like I said, his uh, website is 
uh, www.ronbrown.com. I'll leave it in the description below. Uh, if anybody wants to go look through his website, uh, he sells DVDs and uh, wood turning resource type stuff too. Uh, he's also got CBM wheels, which one day I'm going to have. But uh, anyway, uh, let's get this thing started. I'm going to go ahead and get this on my face well, plate. It was kind of a rough chainsaw cut right here. So uh, I am going to use a, a face plate. I'm going to use this side right here uh, for my face plate because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the tenon off of this end. If you notice, uh, he made a couple of cuts with a chainsaw right here. I think he was trying to take out this little inclusion. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to have to cut that out. So I'm going to make this the end with my tenon here. So I, I just took my my chisel and and got this flat enough for a face plate on mount right there and uh, I've cut all of these and I got this little trick from Captain Eddie uh, a long time ago and uh, each one of them is labeled I just cut them out of a quarter inch plywood uh, they're six inch seven eight. 9, 10, and I've got, it's not quite 12, 11, 3 eighths. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set this on here and try to get it centered up as best I can. I've got long sides here, so I'm going to try to center that, this side and this side. And then on these sides here, they're uh, dead flush. So I'm thinking if, if I get the center here, that I will be pretty well balanced to begin with. So I'm just gonna make a mark with a little nail right there. We'll get around so I'll be able to see it. Right there it is. And now I'm just gonna kinda drill this out just a little bit. Just put a small hole here. To kinda center up my, my face plate. Swap this out for my for my Phillips bit. Now, that's how this is how I'll center my face plate right here. I've got this that I turned on the lathe. It's just a little point. I put that right through my face plate, and it's a nice fit. It doesn't have slop in it. So when I set this on the hole. And bring that down the net face plate it it may not be absolutely perfect but it's pretty dang close and I'll just screw it down and I, I always use all the screw holes so always use all the screw holes and I'll I'll start with one on one side and I should have used the right size Phillips head too We'll try this anyway. Not tight yet. <clears throat> Don't get them tight until you get at least a couple of them in there. Okay, yeah, I'm still sore. All right. Yep, that's still good and centered. All right, now I'll just put the rest in. All right, well, uh, this camphor has very distinct grain. Uh, you can even see it here. Uh, and maybe a little better on this side. But look, look at the grain here. It's really 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 nice wood but I'm gonna get this stuff put up and I'll get that thing mounted on the lathe right quick on its face plate and we will get this party started right, this is gonna be a little bit out of balance because uh, this side right here and I'm thinking I'll be all right with it I'll try to face that off pretty quick all right let's uh let's get our face shield up and see how Let's see how she turns. 
and my camera's right in line. <laughs> uh oh. All right. So I'm ready to get this thing started. I'm gonna go get go get my tools on the sharpener right quick, get them nice and sharp, and I'll be right back. Okay, let's see what we get here. I'm gonna go ahead and start shaping this and, and facing off this corner here. off and start getting this thing kind of trued up. I'm going to put a tenon on this end. Every time it comes around, I'm cutting here and it pushes on the tool a little bit and then all of a sudden I'm not cutting. The tool goes in a little bit and then it bounces out. So it, it uh, just keeps doing, we'll look at the colors. Woo. Mm. All right. I got a rough shape on the bottom. Just gonna start shaping the front. It could be that the front is still out of balance. It's still heavy. But look at the colors in this camphor. Just look at the colors in it. It's it's just. I mean, it is just amazing, beautiful wood. The chatoyants and all coming off of here. If you can see that. Oh yeah, you can see. That.
cooked. That's a lot better. I got a little bit of tear out right there. All right. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna get this thing reversed around on the chuck, and I will be right back.
Hollywood. That's it. Alright, let me get a little CA in there. Because that's going to get bigger if I don't. Yeah, I've had a lot of people ask me where I get my CA. It comes from Vince's Wooden Wonders. I need to order some more. I'm getting a little bit low there. <clears throat> I was feeling that little crack come around every time. I'm getting ready to try out this uh, hollowing system. Uh, I went ahead and bored a two inch hole down to the bottom down here. Okay. Uh, which is, I left it, it's a little thick down there, about a half inch. But the way this works, or supposedly works, is uh, you've got this little laser here. And you aim it just off of your cutter tip. Let me see if I can zoom in on this just a little bit for you. Maybe you can. Oh, that's the wrong way. I've got to hold this in place. All right. Now, <clears throat> the way I did this is, uh, you use the, the the little set screws up here to adjust your laser according to your tip, wherever your tip is. And what I've done is I've adjusted this one where it's even with the very bottom edge of the tip. And I brought it over this way toward, toward the camera about a quarter of an inch. I didn't actually measure it, but uh, I brought it over about a quarter of an inch. Now, as I go inside, as I go inside the bowl, as I get on down into the bottom, and this all depends that your tool is held up right. Okay, now <clears throat> that's that shows how deep my tip is. That shows the very the very far depth of my tip. As I come across, uh, and as I move. The laser moves with me, and as soon as the laser drops off, I know I'm a quarter inch thick right here in this wall when the laser drops off. And, uh, of course, as I come around here, I'll have to readjust, and coming around here, I have to readjust. There'll be a lot of readjusting, but that's about a quarter inch right there. So, uh, let me see if you can see it maybe there. It's about a quarter inch wide right there. So, <clears throat> so uh, theoretically, when I come up this wall, when the laser drops off, I'll be a quarter inch thick. <laughs> we'll see how that, all of that works out. But, uh, all right, well, I'm, I'm getting ready to uh, start hollowing. Let me get my camera set up, and uh, we'll get started on this thing. Now, this is just an experiment. And this bar 
is definitely overkill for this particular project it's only actually I'm only boring about five inches deep but I just want to see how this system's going to work because I've never used one before so I'm, I'm going to be sitting here and and learning as as I go also uh, I'm also using John uh, John Williams tool rest that he sent me and I'll show that to you a little bit later on but let's go ahead and see what we can do here Pressure. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on the on the cutter hands. 